Good morning, Chip here with Hybrid Electric Car Sales. Coming to you from my shop in beautiful Franklin, Tennessee. I got a Gen 1 Chevy Volt up here on the lift. I didn't plan on filming this car. We're doing a uh, motor mounts in it. The motor mounts have worn out. And uh, I've already replaced the, the back trans mount, as you can see here, and it was tore. You can see it there in that corner. Uh, yeah, there it is. So uh, I had to replace it. I got the new one in. Let me flip this. Okay, so here under the car, got the new uh, trans mount in. I hasn't bolted it, but I want to show you guys something. Uh, in the service manual, this bolt goes the other way. Like the nut is on top and you probably can't see it, but when you push that bolt up, it bottoms out on the steering rack up there. And I went into the service manual and they had, they showed the bolt the other way, but they still said to drop the whole subframe out, remove the rack so you could get that bolt out. And I guess they recommend reinstalling it the other way. Well, I found a shortcut because there's no way I was dropping the subframe out of the car. Um, I took out these uh, steering rack bolts. And let me show you here. You can get to the nuts on top. There's the nut right there. And I was able to get a pair of needle nose on there and drop that bolt out. And that gave me just enough room to lift the rack up to push this bolt up far enough to get the mount out. And I had to get a pry bar up in there on the rack, but you can see there's the steering box. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to zoom in on it. There it is. But that uh, that connector right there is what the bolt bottomed out on. Let me show you. I can almost see it. I can't really see it. But either way, don't take the subframe out. Loosen your two uh, rack bolts. Take the nuts off. Drop the bolts out. And then pull the rack forward. You only need to pull it forward about an inch. And that will allow that bolt to go up. If your car was assembled like this one with the bolt backwards. So I don't know what it is, but like I said, going to the service manual, you'll see that it shows the bolt going the other way with the nut on top, which would make 100% <laughs> this job much easier, but whatever. All right, so that's it. Tips and tricks, Gen 1 volt, rear trans mount. Don't drop the rack. Just loosen the steering rack bolts and move the rack forward to get that bolt out. Hot tip. Check us out online at hybridandelectriccarsales.com or see us in person at 616 Bradley Court in beautiful Franklin, Tennessee. Hope to see you soon. All right, here it is in the service manual. You see the bolt going up with the nut on top. And you just, mine had the bolt going down with the nut on the bottom. And then there's no, there's no notice of, or whatever, recommendation uh, how to do it. It's just remove the steering gear replacement. And then I'm sure they're going to tell you to drop the subframe. So they, they oversimplify, but this is just not correct.